Hey, this is Doc with Marley Records. If you're looking for new and interesting music, be sure to check us out at MarleyRecords.com. Listen to me very carefully. I want to present the moment you've been waiting for. Geeked Up Radio. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Geeked Up Radio. It's me, Ricky. The Jolly Rancher Commander, along with my lovely hosts, Lalo and Michael. Yeah, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he's he's dying over there. He's. Uh, I feel like it. He's got the flu or something. He he ain't used to all this jacked up weather that we've been oh. having here lately. Yeah, no kidding. Oh man. yeah, yeah. It was spring yesterday, and now it's winter again. Yeah, man. I I don't know what's going on here in Texas, man. Uh, Crazy. It, it's Texas. It this happens all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I hate it. So yeah, it's that hold my beer weather. <laughs> hold my beer and watch this. It's, it's like watch me make your day cold. You're gonna be miserable for the rest of the day. It's like man. You know, I actually said, I actually told someone Saturday here, hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I've yeah, never yeah. done that before. <laughs> that's, huh? that's funny. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was a wedding. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we went to a wedding, man. It was it was awesome, man. We got yeah. to eat some skin. Oh man, it was good. Ooh. Do you ever eat skin? It's I cool. didn't. I didn't eat any of that, but I I ate the rest of the carnitas. Oh man, you eat skin, Lalo? Yeah, yeah. I, eat I, I think it was pork skin or the beef skin. It's always yeah. Pork. It, it was pork. It was pork. Yeah, it's always. Yeah. Yeah. It was oh so man, good. it was so good. I made so many those. tacos out of that skin. It's <laughs> quite Oh man, I know why Christians yeah. eats over there all the time, man, because they can cook. Oh man, it, man, it was oh so good. Man, I, I'm gonna have to make some skin tomorrow. <laughs> so cueritos. Oh, what is it called? Cueritos. Cueritos. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. For our Spanish <laughs> listeners, Lalo, I want you to translate today everything that we say into Spanish. Oh, so, so it'll you'll be like the uh, ESL person. It'll give you a, like a a a point zero 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 percent raise if you ever make money. Ooh. Ooh. All right, is, ready? is that in percentage? Well, uh, well, I think you only get like point zero 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 percent of income from here. Yeah, point zero 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 percent. Puto cero 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 cero. Yeah, because you know what. Because we're an independent podcast, ladies and gentlemen. And if you want to be part of the conversation, you can always contact us at Twitter on Geeked Up Radio. One, Instagram, Geeked Up underscore radio. And on Facebook, Geeked Up Radio. And I'll put all the links in the show notes and stuff like that. And you can email us, whatever. We're always ready to hear from the listeners, from the people. How do you say that from, in Spanish? Say, from say, the gente. Toda la gente. From man, the people. Man, we just want everybody to listen. <laughs> say it in Spanish. You're the ESL guy, dude. Come on, man. <laughs> I don't speak no heathen language. Man, they're going to they're gonna throw me over that wall. <laughs> they're going to throw the whole podcast over the wall. <laughs> I'm like, like oh, <laughs> No hablo espanol. <laughs> I already had to sit in the middle. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, one one leg. Twenty twenty, we change it. We'll change it up in twenty twenty. I promise. Uh, you know what I mean? Be like Reagan. I have no idea what that means. Where he says tear down this wall. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like kicking him oh. out of the office. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. There's a history lesson for you. Yeah, th- thank you. The uh, more you know, the more you know. Okay, so so what? I want to discuss something very special, something close to my heart. Apex Legends. <laughs> oh, oh, dear God. <laughs> okay. Apex Legends coming out with the Battle Pass March 1st. I just want to let everybody know. Make sure you buy it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, uh, another thing I want to let you all know is that Fortnite Season 8 starts on Thursday. And if you didn't do your challenges to get the free Battle Pass, suckers, enjoy spending that $10 because I uh, I got it free. Booyah, wah, 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 wah. 
Hey, so my name is Joshua Jones. I'm the manager at Sci-Fi Factory Lake Worth, where we are games and nerds. All we get everything that you could possibly want for any type of collectibilities or games or anything. We uh, we do service magic, comics, hero clicks, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, D and T. Uh, the list goes on and on of everything that we could possibly get for you. Uh, if you're in the neighborhood and you're looking for gaming communities, we have weekly events that can give everybody a community to strive to be a part of. Uh, if you have board games that you're looking for, some more exclusive items or anything that you're just trying to hunt down for, we can really get anything you need. Uh, we are located at 6560 Lake Worth Boulevard, Suite 300, right in the Target Shopping Center off Jacksboro Highway and Azle Avenue. Uh, you can find us at Facebook, which would be Sci-Fi Factory Dash Lake Worth. Now, we also have multiple locations, one over in Keller. We're all part of the same family, so if you ever, ever have any questions associated with just the store in general, we can all work with you and get you anything you need. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Another thing I'd, like, I want to share with from the bottom of my heart. I want to talk about flat earth. <laughs> oh, no. I want to talk about how the earth is flat, Okay. And I want all these globies to understand that it's not a globe. <laughs> the globies? The globies. <laughs> Globebies. It's the earth is flat. And you can tell because when I look from on top of the hill, I can see the horizon. Okay. I can see stuff from far away. That's the earth is flat. Okay. I saw the national. Michael, did you see the National Geographic? Video um, I you sent, sent you? me the link. I opened it up and I'm like, this is bullshit. I stopped it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, National Geographic. I, I didn't even get two minutes into it. I just I was like, I ain't watching this crap. Dude, there's so much information you could have learned. Okay, so in that in National Apparently Geographic. You learn that it's not flat. In the National Geographic uh, little show they did on YouTube, right? Uh, they they tell us that, you know, 2% of the United States population, population believes that the earth is flat, which is, they say, it's over 6.5 million people believe that the earth is flat right well there's a lot of dumbass out there <laughs> yeah. yeah there is <laughs> they got a bad case of dumbass disease anyways must what the-, <laughs> the earth is flat right so the earth is flat and the, it's flat right like a like a tortilla flat or like a flat phone ah uh, anyways so they also discuss uh they do a little test michael where they take a uh, they take a boat out to the to a lake, right? I forget what lake it was, like the biggest lake in. I think it was Lake Tahoe. No, it was like Carlton Lake or something like that. It started with a C, right? Carlton Lake, All or right. it's Carlton C or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, they put they take this boat and they put like a flag on it, right, with stripes, and they send it out into the ocean or into the sea, and as it goes beyond the horizon, right, you see the lines on the flag start to disappear because the boat is. You know, starting the curve, right? So instead of seeing like four stripes, you only see like three and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. And so they had flat earth people there, right? Like the leader, Mark Sargent. Had a had a name, had a shirt with a name, his his name name on on it. it. I am Mark Sargent. (laughs) Anyways, yeah, he's a real okay. He gave the perfect answer. He like he he debunked everything the Globies were trying to prove. So, when the stripes started to disappear, his answer was... It's the heat. It was the heat. <laughs> the heat. Because of the heat of the sun was making the waves. You know how it does in the distance? And that's why it was... Uh, that's why you couldn't see the lines anymore. Because of the heat. Michael. <laughs> yeah, so I was like... I'm like, man... So, so we, so me and Lala started reading the comments, right? And one of the comments was like, some kid, he was like, my mom asked me why every semester my grades get lower and lower. And he, and he wrote, because of the heat. <laughs> <laughs> so the earth is flat, right? It's a growing move, movement. A lot of people yeah. believe it. I listen to uh, a lot of flat earth podcasts and stuff like that. And just because I think it's strange, because to me the flat Earth movement seems like it's a, a, a like a, a distorted view of Christianity, because they're always blaming like the satanic government, and they're always blaming, you know, that the, you know what I mean? 
Mm-hmm. There's something like crazy about the government. Either Satan's running it, running it, or it's just a bunch of rich people running it, and they're like trying to keep the secret of the Earth being flat a secret. It doesn't make any sense. No. Right. Yeah. And so when the lady asked him about, I'm sure this, I'm sure there's some convoluted theory where it all fits together perfectly. Yeah. And we're just not enlightened enough to know it. Exactly, because you, me, and yeah. Lalo are just we just we just dumb. Yeah. We we've been we're, indoctrinated. We're, we're unenlightened. We're we're sheeple. Yeah. yeah. We're common okay. folk. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're heathens. That's what we are. Uh, uh, globe. I like standing upside down when I go to Australia. I oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> and and another thing, another thing I I hear in common too with flat earthers is that they don't believe in gravity. So it's kind of strange. There's a lot of strange things I don't understand why they think that way. I mean. Why they throw uh, Christian beliefs into their idea of the flat Earth? Oh man, they don't. Man, come you, on, man. man you the, remember the satanic government? You heard on Chris Jericho. Yeah, but th- that one guy. Oh, what was the name? Mark Sargent. Illuminati. <laughs> Mark Sargent. There you go. Yeah. Mark <laughs> Sargent. He said we're we're all on stage. Oh yeah, he said the the yeah. world's a giant stage. Yeah, the world's a giant stage, and there's just lights in the sky. <laughs> And we're in a in a dome. Yeah, the the stars are just lights in the sky. I mean, well, I, my, Michael, oh, what, what 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 do you think, Michael? Let me know. Oh, I already told you my opinion. There's a lot of dumbasses <laughs> around. All right, so I have I'm going to start a new theory, right? Because I've I've discovered what it is. My mind works at a billion miles an hour, faster than light. You can call me the the great wizard. <laughs> I am. Harry? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you call me Hermione, okay? <laughs> okay. The The reason why the when you sail off and this, the things disappear, the lines disappear on the, the flags and the ships disappear over the horizon, it's because the world's not a, the world is not a globe and it's not flat. I'm telling you right now, it is concave. The world is <laughs> concave at the end. The end. Okay, believe me. Prove me wrong. Bum, 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 bum. Anyways, and so it's like, so I'm going to start the uh, concave yeah, I got, I got society. Pictures. Hey, Ricky. <laughs> Tell me. You played Halo, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. You know what the Halo Horizon looks like? Yeah. That's a concave. Yeah. But it's concave the other yeah. way. What? You don't see that in real life. What's the other word? What's the one word? It's where... not concave, dumbass. What's the word? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the word where it's like a hill, like a little dome? We're on a dome. Convex. Convex. That's the word. God well, damn it. Yeah, it's, not perfect, <laughs> it's not a perfect sphere. It's not flat. Yeah, it's convex. It's, we're like on a, a <laughs> on a slowly rising plane. Convex. Is that the word? If you think it is, yeah. Okay. We're on a I'm gonna start the convex globe society. No wait, convex earth society. And how come we haven't popped up then? You, you, you know, you remember, you remember those things you used to get as a kid. Yeah, that they're they're convex, and you you push them down right in the middle. Uh huh. And then you wait, and then you just, those little they, frogs. Yeah, kind of like a frog, and then they just pop up. Yeah, they look like half of a ball. That's exactly because you know that's the Illuminati trying to let you know that the Earth is concave. <laughs> I mean, a convex. <laughs> Goddamn English. <laughs> anyways, anyways. Anyways, I, I want to talk about <laughs> conspiracy theories also. So, while I was like taking my medication, I was taking some ibuprofen, right? <laughs> and it, I, I discovered that the Illuminati have left like a clue about the truth of the world, that the world is like flat and there's the ice wall keeping everything in. Oh, man, you got that from me. Yeah, yeah. So, when I flipped open the, the pill bottle and the lid, it's flat. But you know how the... Oh, you it, didn't get that from me. <laughs> But the sides of it were screws in. That's conspiracy, sir. Yeah, it's is they're letting us know that there's a it's a flat with the with the ice wall, <clears throat> and the same thing with your phones. They're flat, but you spend two hundred dollars to put a case on it, and Ooh. if you put your finger on the round the case, you can you feel get the, the wrong ice wall case. What the hell? <laughs> I, I I buy a cheap phone, and I don't want to spend more money, so I spend two hundred dollars on a phone case. I, they make the flattest phones for a reason, wow. and then they charge you like. Two hundred dollars for a good phone case. Does that make sense? I get a cheap phone case and a cheap phone. 
Does that yeah, <laughs> like eight dollar phone case for yeah. my fifty dollar phone or eighty dollar phone. Mm-hmm. Both of y'all, on, shut on up. Amazon, <laughs> on Amazon. Okay, let me tell you another another thing that the Illuminati controls: speed limits. You buy a Corvette that can do two hundred miles an hour, but they set the speed limit at sixty. Why? So they can get yes, money. Yeah. They get money off of you. That's why. Man, I, I the just la, 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 la. I just think. Those uh flat earthers. Tell me. They're just nothing but a bunch of pizza lovers. Pizza lovers. Yeah, tell me this pizza theory. Man, the pizza theory has got the crust on the outside, <laughs> so the sauce doesn't go over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like their their glaciers. Right, right. Like the waters. Like yeah. the waters. Yeah, the cheese uh-huh. is the, 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 the continents. Yeah, kind of like the continents, but it's uh the plains and everything, <laughs> the, the, the fields and everything we walk on. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the pepperoni or the vegetables or whatever, that's your hills and mountains. There you go, man. <laughs> that's oh, it. Oh, well, look at you. Nothing but pizza. smart. Nothing but pizza lovers. Oh, man. Pizza Earth Society. <laughs> man, what's bad, though, is I love pizza. Oh, shit. Don't eat it. <laughs> Don't eat the Earth, Lalo. <laughs> I love pizza, too, but I hate cheese. <laughs> I want some right now. Me too, man. I'm hungry, man. Well, you know what? You know what? You come over for lunch, Michael. We'll make some homemade pizzas. We'll make margaritas. The margarita pizza, not the drinks. You know, yeah. Oh, no. you know I, mean? I could use the margarita right now. Yeah, I'm telling you. I, but yeah, I believe in the flat earth. <laughs> uh. No, I don't. I mean, I believe the earth is like a, like a, a like a ovo, isn't it? It's like an ovo. Ovo. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, it, it's 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 wider. In the center. It, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I believe that people are standing upside down in Australia. Uh, I believe in gravity. I think they're standing on their feet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I believe, you know, I mean, if, with this ice wall thing, this is what drives me crazy, right? And, you know, a lot of the podcasts, they say you can't go to Antarctica. You can't get close to the ice wall because the satanic government fleet is there going to turn you away and stuff, Right. 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 Okay. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. But if the Earth is flat, you should be able to see the ice wall before you get to the uh, to the fleet, right? Man, what it really is, you get close enough, you're gonna freeze to death. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but okay. Okay. But also, we all know somebody that works in the military, right? Yeah. Right. So when people get out mm-hmm. of the military, they always have these cool stories, right? Mm-hmm. Well, if there's like a, a Navy satanic fleet of people, I mean, they got to like wash out eventually or retire out of the fleet. They got to be like retirees. Oh, I was in satanic fleet, you know. Man, why's it got to be satanic fleet? Man, that's the that's the thing. That's the thing. They're always it, the number one reason why we can't have the truth in the world is because it's satanic government. What is it? <laughs> that's the thing. That That's the one reason I always hear. Blame the satanic government. It's like that airport in Colorado. I don't know where it is, where you know where it's got all those murals of like the paintings of the end of the world. You know that one? No, I've not heard of that. Uh-uh. What? It's like some. It's a real place, and it's an airport that nobody uses. Sure, it is. No, for real. I've seen. I've seen pictures. It's in Area Fifty One. Oh yeah, <laughs> so it must be real. Oh oh okay. So I've seen pictures of a global Earth, and you know, in uh, Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy, it must be real. Yes or no? It's a flat picture. <laughs> Pizza Earth. I, I still like. We'll start the Pizza Earth Society. The Man. founding members right now: Grand Vizier Lalo, Grand Grand Vizier <laughs> Ricardo, <laughs> and Grand Vizier Michael. <laughs> you got to say it like an angel, right, Michael. You, you I'm take, dropping out of that society. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not joining. You started no. it. You're a founding member. Yeah. We're the I'm we're not, the Trinity. I'm not drinking the Kool Aid, <laughs> no, sir. No, that's what we're I was about to tr- say. Yeah. We're the Trinity. <laughs> you're you're the Trinity. The Trinity. You're me and Lalo the eyes. Michael's the mouth. There you go. Oh, I can be the nose. Uh, I'm all right, man. You already ready to give up on our society, man. That was short lived. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Lalo. Yeah. I have to go back to the convex Earth Society now. <laughs> Fuck those guys! No. <laughs> I'm, I'm still. You need to borrow my book again, sir. Yeah, how to start your own religion? 
Yeah, how to start your own religion. Yeah. Yeah, I need to borrow that book again, man. Okay. Yeah, because we, my <laughs> we're gonna have a uh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to call you Jim Koresh. <laughs> Jim Koresh. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. No, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I just remember what he did. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no that's Jim both. Jones. I want to be, I want to be the guys that were in California with the sneakers that they all like kill themselves, but I, without the killing yourself part, you know, they're mm-hmm. all like, they were all in the house because they thought the alien spaceship was flying by. And then, the, yeah, that's, that's right. I remember that. Yeah. They, they did they did they like geld themselves or something or first? I have no idea. I all I remember they were I all think, I think they did. I think they did some kind of mutilation on themselves, or at least on the followers. Maybe on some. Because yeah. I remember they were like they found them all laying in beds and stuff. I know one one group drunk a bunch of that liquid glass. Liquid glass. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Dang. You're making know. me sad now, Lala. We were talking about Converse and yeah. aliens yeah. and living in the dome world. Convex yeah. dome. Hey, you started with that flat earth crap. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's so interesting. Flat earth. Woo. Remember, no. there's no gravity either. Woo. Dark so, web. Deep state. Yeah. yeah. Satanic government. Call just. Hey, I, I'm going to give a shout out to Chris Jericho. If you anybody knows him that listens to him, tell him thank you for having those guys. You, you, you keep saying this. You, this is the wrestler, right? Yeah, he has his own podcast. It's like it's almost as good as this one. <laughs> almost as good. Oh wow! I mean, we're like a you know a perfect ten. You know, we're we're like the beach bunny of podcasting. Chris Jericho, oh, 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 oh. Beach what's this? What's this? What's this <laughs> perfect ten stuff, man? Chris Jericho, what's this perfect ten. It's supposed to be perfect seven, right? Oh, you're right, right. We're like the perfect seven. That's beach another, bunny. That's another conspiracy. Okay, and and Chris Jericho's podcast is like a uh, a solid six negative. Okay. <laughs> It's a solid no. six. Okay, it's good, but you know, hey, he's gonna get us canceled. He's gonna get us. He's gonna whip our ass. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna come in here with a big old muscle. He's like, pinchy gordos, come here. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> hey, he he's the one been saying this stuff. <laughs> I mean, like I recorded, we both saying he's it. talking about flat earthers and how Bigfoot is really an alien big coming foot. out the, out big out of space. Bigfoot really is. He's a dimensional <laughs> alien, dude. I listen to bizarre states. Shout out. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. I want to give a shout out to the dark web. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. Bigfoot's a, a dimensional alien. He comes in. That's why we can't find. Okay, because Bigfoot, if we if he was real, right? If he wasn't a dimensional alien, like landing or time traveling, or whatever, we would mm-hmm. find more footprints. We would find poop because we know he don't wear clothes. There'd be it, piles of poop, man. When everybody I take a, poops. Everybody poops. Because when I when I take a dump in the morning, it's a lot. Okay, and this creature is a lot, huge. a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. It's like maybe like six, seven pounds of poop. You know what I'm hey. saying? It looks like a little pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It looks like a. Anyways, the Jolly Rancher has some big stools. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, doesn't matter. Besides that, we're talking about Bigfoot. You know. He's a big guy. We know he's got a big butthole. <laughs> you, know, you know, there'd be some Lincoln logs coming out of that thing. Plop, plop. You know? Oh, you know what? It's it's transdimensional poop. Oh, it just like disappears. Yeah, it, 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 yeah it goes to the other dimension. Oh, so there's like a whole dimension full of poop? <laughs> poop yeah. Dimension. No. Oh, man. Okay. Don't. Okay. All right. So it's anyway. the second dimension. Dang it. Well, it's number two. Number two. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, a lot, hey, I'd rather go to number two than number one, right? <laughs> or number three. Ew. You know what number three is? Choro. <laughs> 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 yes. And for anybody that doesn't know in English, that's a uh, uh, diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Cha-cha-cha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways. All right, so before we move on to the cringe news, let's hear a word from our sponsor. Hello, this is John from This Is Getting Old. I host a podcast with my co-host, John Clark. Together, we talk about just about anything we really want to talk about, ranging between nostalgia, movies, music, 
really anything that's pop culture written, it's in my brain. And I'm here to talk about it. So if you'd like to listen to our podcast, you could find us at anchor.fm slash getting old or gettingoldpod.com. You can also send us an email at gettingoldpod at gmail.com. I hope to hear from you. The cringe news. <laughs> cringe news. And this one doesn't have to do with uh, Flat Earth or National Geographics. Geographics. But it does have to do with the state of Illinois. Yes, I pronounce the S because I'm an American citizen. Illinois. 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 No, it doesn't have nothing to do with Illinois. I apologize to everybody in Illinois. But it's got an S. Illinois. Anyways, continue. Lala, what do you got for us? Man, I thought you had one lined up just now. <laughs> Talk about Illinois. Uh, yeah, you got all worked up. No, I, I, was, I, I was over here. <laughs> Oh, already? He was like, I was like, let me hear this. Bigfoot spotted in Illinois. That's he, a lie. He took the S. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, no, I don't have anything. My internet's out in the house. I'm, I'm waiting for uh, my internet company to come out. They, they said they'd be here between one and two. So we'll see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but what day? <laughs> uh, <laughs> sometime next week. <laughs> Country... Anyways, go ahead, Lalo. Man, it, this one is is here in Texas. Again? Another one here. Oh, man. Again. In Austin. Austin. state capital. Woo-woo! Okay. Yeah, this one. Okay. <laughs> the woman was arrested for masturbating on a restaurant patio, and then she continued to masturbate in the cop car. <laughs> commitment hey hey when you got what are you gonna do with sticky fingers you know what i'm saying <laughs> man wow wow i mean i mean if i was a cop you know would you <laughs> you you know do you look you're like hey make sure you ain't got uh, a weapon down there or you just like what's up or you just, <laughs> she ain't no weapon <laughs> i mean that's i mean don't they handcuff you from behind they must handcuffed her for the front. They knew oh, what they were doing. Those cops were know. being cochinos. They knew. Oh, she gave herself a reach around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is flexible, dude. Oh, oh, yeah. She maybe did. She maybe like sat on her hands and, you know, moved her legs through her, like the loop or something. Uh-huh. I don't know. But last time I was in, I mean, <laughs> I was like handcuffed from the back. <laughs> I couldn't do nothing. I'm like, I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's, wow. that's that's full commitment, man. Full commitment. I I applaud her. Yeah, just, just for commitment. It's nasty. I mean, what 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 kind of restaurant was it? Was it a? I don't know. A it, McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> it had to be a decent restaurant because it was on a patio. Yeah, a patio. She's, she's at a Chuck E. Cheese. What do you think, man? Yeah, she's probably at like a Rosa's Cafe or something. There's a patio there. I wonder if she got like the the churro. <laughs> she was like woo, 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 with those uh, with the taquitos and stuff like that. Just she got some tube steak. Woo! <laughs> She got the fever. I really like that salsa. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, 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 that'd be no. burning. That'd be... No, ah, sa- no. Sa- 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 no talking about salsa. Uh-oh. Talking yeah, about I salsa. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, you see it? <laughs> what? Yeah. You got what? Dipped his beans and someone's salsa. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's in, out of Tennessee. He was a like a, a delivery, like food delivery driver. He got pissed of like an eighty nine cent tip, so he uh, kind of dipped his junk in, in this customer's salsa before he what? delivered it. What? Oh my god! Yeah, and then, and then he he recorded it and posted it online. Oh oh, so oh man! That's Did, how I get caught. That, man, people always he's a flat his, earther. He's a flat earther because he's stupid. <laughs> you don't post stuff online. If you're gonna do something revengey like that, you don't you don't do it. <laughs> You know, like when I worked at Brahms, you know, I spit in people's food and stuff like that, threw a booger in there, some chin hair. You know, you don't record it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, oh. I mean, that's how you get caught. I guess he's going to go to jail, right? Oh, yeah. He got arrested. Yeah. It's it a felony. Oh, wow. Oh. No, I never did that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's uh. nuts. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. This ain't that type of show. Oh, come 
Oh, <laughs> man, that's lame, dude. You know, I'm going to dock your pay zero dollars, okay? <laughs> settle. Puto, settle, 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 settle. You're back down to zero, okay? <laughs> Solid zero. Not 0.0, zero, just zero. <laughs> With a line across it. <laughs> You know you're gonna get a you're gonna I'm gonna give you a check and it's just gonna be blank. Okay. <laughs> you must ate that sauce. So that's why you're so bitter. <laughs> I'm salty. <laughs> oh wow, that's that's really gross. I mean, I can't imagine somebody doing that, man. I mean, oh man, that's really gross. I mean, because you know that salsa is like spicy. It would like burn your junk, dude. All the acidic and stuff like that. Because I know he, if anybody's ever like had like eating salsa and then done stuff afterwards and forgot stuff burned you know what i'm saying you like if you change your contact and you're like uh you just got done eating like buffalo wings and you're like oh i gotta take my contacts out. ah you know Ooh. y'all never touch your eyes with buffalo sauce trying to get contacts out <laughs> no, i don't wear contacts yeah oh. i don't wear contacts shut up what's wrong but with yes, y'all? I, I've, <clears throat> I, I wear glasses yeah um <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, of course I've touched my eyes after, like, chopping jalapenos or something, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't think about it, it's like, ah, crap. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like the same thing with being gay and icy hot. It's supposed <laughs> to be awesome, but it's not. <laughs> he ain't supposed to whack it with it. <laughs> oh. But that's a story for another day. That's, that's for another Why show, bro. I like experience talking there. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a topic for TDMR. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, enough about <laughs> my past adventures. <laughs> That's why he's the Jolly Rancher. I'm the Jolly Rancher. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Woo Anyways, what's what's the next one, gentlemen? What's the next one? The, the next one. Let's see, this is another flat earther. Oh no! Yeah, a man. Th- this is uh, being presented by Daily Mail from from UK. A man wants to sue his parents for giving birth to him without his consent. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> he wasn't ready. <laughs> I mean, what well, the guy's an idiot. He should be watching those Momo videos. <laughs> go, go follow the gerbils off the cliff or whatever that whatever those ones. <laughs> the gerbils. <laughs> the hell? What, what is those uh the Mennonites? No. What no, those little rats that <laughs> on that they they run off the cliff together. Uh, Peter Piper, no lemmings, lemmings, lemmings. Yeah, yeah, lemmings, lemmings. Good job, Michael. Somebody <laughs> watches TV. <laughs> la la, <laughs> Michael. I, Michael. Michael is now the smartest one on the podcast. He knew what a lemon is. <laughs> a lemon, <laughs> lemming. <laughs> oh God. Anyways, I mean, was he going to the library, sir? What, is he going to sue for like the Me Too movement? Because you know he was in his, you know, he got touched by his mom's junk and his dad's junk at the same time. Me Too hashtag. Oh no! I mean, he's, oh, that guy's stupid, dude. I don't, I, I don't. I got nothing to say. I got nothing to say. Man, I think the parents should should be the ones to put him down. <laughs> put him down. Like he's not a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably like 40 something he's still living in the basement he's mad because his mom didn't get him like uh pizza bites or pizza bagels or whatever <laughs> oh, shit, I snorted on that one. <laughs> he's like i'm gonna sue you my pizza bagels were cold you know you can't serve them cold man they're good pizza <laughs> bagels how's the song go <laughs> Pizza bagel. <laughs> that's not how the song goes no no <laughs> the pizza bagel song sing it Pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening. Pizza <laughs> Man, if you night. know it, why are you asking me? Because <laughs> I want you. Because you got a good singing voice. Pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening, pizza at supper time. That's like now you can have pizza because it's on a bagel all the time. Da da. Man, that's oh. <laughs> man, I'm thirty. I was, I, was I, a, I, I, am, I am forty-seven years old, man. Come on, dude. Man, I was a little kid when that come on. You you probably weren't born yet, man. I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, yeah, yeah. Okay, anyways, whatever. You're just a young gun. How old are you? 20 what? Nine. One? Nine. You're 29? Nine. Dang, you're young. I remember when I was 29, 20 years ago. Hey, uh, y'all are children. <laughs> yeah, Michael's old. Michael's old. He was around when dirt got made. He was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're like, what's this stuff? I'm like grandpa, man. <laughs> Michael, what's the next one? You got the next one, Michael? <laughs> I, I, I just found a funny headline. Tell me. <clears throat> so a man with a micro penis is going to sue his wife for telling everyone after the honeymoon. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> oh god! It was cold. <laughs> we went to Antarctica. Well, I mean, oh. I mean, how did she not? I mean, did she? Obviously, I, I she didn't know, know. She didn't know about it. They were like, you know, those people that wait to have sex after they get married. Well, yeah, abstinent, a- abstinence. Yeah, yeah I right? guess that's yeah. I mean, that, this is why you sleep with people before you get married, so you know what look, you're getting into. You know what I'm saying? But if you have that problem, you better make sh- damn sure you don't piss that woman off. Hell yeah. And, you're, <laughs> and, you're, and your cunnilingus game better be on point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you better be. You better be drive a big truck or have a lot of money or something, man. Hell yeah, dude. I mean, yeah. your, your throat muscles got to be good. You know what I'm saying? Your tongue's got to be flexible. <laughs> You got to be able, when you're lacking in one department, you got to step it up in the next one, man. You got to have big fingers, you know, everything, right? <laughs> yeah. Right? You got to have a big nose, <laughs> big puffy lips, big bank account, <laughs> big bank account, money long, hair long. You know what I'm saying? Dang, man. I mean, I feel bad for this guy because, you know, now he's like mortified. He's like, I'll never get laid again. But there's like, there's like a whole culture of people that like that kind of stuff, isn't there? You know, yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's somebody who's who's into that kind of thing. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's somebody for everybody. But There you go. And I'm sure that he can, yeah. there's operations too, right? Yeah. That, or he can just come visit uh, you. That's what the internet says. Visit me. <laughs> Yeah, that's my inbox says. There's all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yeah, you, you could just come visit Ricky though. Why? Why is he gonna come visit me? Man, you you have the dolls. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was about to say. I was like, I don't want his little dick over here. <laughs> I I I don't feel it. <laughs> Man, if I'm gonna get plowed, it better be good. You know what I'm saying? Dang, no. Yeah, <laughs> what? <laughs> he, yeah, he can come visit the dolls and stuff, man. I'm telling you, dude. I got, I got the perfect dolls for him. You know what I'm saying? Three hundred dollars an hour. I'll take pity. I'll make it two ninety nine. <laughs> we'll, we'll call it the buddy price. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cut the price in half. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. A yeah, low for, down payment. A <laughs> low down payment. Oh, he's got to put down payment down first. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean that's that's sad. He's he's hopefully he makes it through this tough time. <laughs> Poor little guy. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're full of puns today. <laughs> Good job. What's the next one, Lala? Man. I- I don't have <laughs> you don't got any more. <laughs> Michael, you got another one? Uh yeah, this is kind of a weird one. <clears throat> this uh, guy was testing out a um he's a pilot is testing out a new engine. So he was having to do like a, a two hour flight test at like a sustained speed. So in his flight path, he spelled out I'm bored. <laughs> His flight path, oh, <laughs> and, and then and then his flight path. All of a sudden, I had a couple of phallic symbols. <laughs> so none of this was visible from the air or from the from the ground. But when I guess when they looked at his flight path uh-huh. on the computer thing, that, that's how they found this shit out. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> that's funny. That's funny. He's probably he's probably yeah. getting in trouble. He's probably getting in trouble for that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I wish I, could, I wish I I could work somewhere where I could come up with some shenanigans like that that would end up on the news, but man, maybe, maybe this podcast would end up on the news, full shenanigans. Yeah, probably for the wrong reasons. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, we'll see what we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get famous one day. Lolly, you got anything? <laughs> man, the only thing I got is. Uh... 
one one little thing in animal news. Oh no, no more bestiality, <laughs> man! Uh, Come no, on, it's, it's not it's not anything bad. Okay, this is a a fabulous fat rat was rescued after getting stuck in a manhole cover. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at. <laughs> oh my god dude oh my god that's gross <laughs> don't ever show me a picture like that again okay <laughs> i don't know how the that that rat got stuck right there man i mean did he <laughs> that's the way i feel when i go to Chuck E. cheese and i have to get my daughters out of the uh the, the the bouncy ball place or you know the slide the tubes and stuff like that you know they have to crawl out you know, and they, it's like a little maze and stuff and the little windows you can look through. You got to get on your hands and knees and crawl through the tubes. Yeah, and you're the, not supposed to go in there. Dude, I have to get them out. Otherwise, they don't, they don't, they don't leave. I'm like, ooh, and I'm like barely squeezing in. I'm that rat, dude. I, I feel sorry for that rat. Nah, you made it sad now. Uh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, gentlemen, this yes, is. Yes, more animal ones. Oh, do you have another one? I got a couple more animal ones. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm sorry. Uh, hey, animal news on this show has made me very, very scared, okay? <laughs> okay, go ahead, Michael. Give, give me All one. right. <clears throat> well, we found a humpback whale dead in the Amazon jungle. What? How did it get yeah, up there? It, the way to make it sound, it's it's not really as deep as it, as it was. It, somehow, I guess they think it uh, got washed in through some, like, mangrove um, area. Uh-huh. But yeah, they found it in the jungle on land, away you know, away from the shore. Oh my god, think. man, that's sad. Thank you, Michael, for. Uh... <laughs> What's the next one? It better not be sad. It better not deal with. It better not be another okay. dead animal. A dead animal stuck in a manhole. <laughs> they got the rat oh, out. Yeah, though. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, Louisiana man in a gorilla suit breaks into houses and hides under a bed. <laughs> Oh yeah, I heard what? about that. Tell yeah. me, he, he he sucked on the women's toes. What? Yeah. Oh, I think that was another dude. Oh, that was a different one. What? I think it's a different guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Two different guys dressed up in gorillas. No, no, oh. no. It was a different story he's talking about. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's wrong with people? Welcome to America. You know what I'm saying? Where if you're a lady, you get your toes sucked on every nine if you want. That's yeah, he's wearing apparently he's wearing gorilla suit and peeking through people's windows and uh what what uh you know, ran into a house and tried to hide under a bed. <laughs> turned, <laughs> but he got caught. Me. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna take a shit here and be a Bigfoot. I heard on Geek Up Radio there's no shit patterns. Ape no hurt other ape. <laughs> <laughs> I mean Maybe he's trying. You remember back in like 2016, those crazy clowns or creepy clowns? Yeah. Maybe he's trying to start like yeah. the creepy gorilla movement or whatever. You know? I don't know. Whatever happened to you those know? Clowns? I remember seeing something about ten years ago uh, where somebody had like a a life size like statue of a velociraptor. What? And put it like next to the neighbor's window. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> what the hell? I probably shit my pants have a heart attack, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so I was looking at the neighbor's window. Yeah, that's Dude, no kidding. No, don't ever do that shit to me, man. I will die and shit my pants. <laughs> at the same time, they'll be like, he was dead and he was still shitting his pants. <laughs> Sir, he's been dead for four hours now, and it just keeps coming out. <laughs> it was a number three. Yeah, it started off as a. It started out with the cork, and then the cork popped out, and then the number three just started flowing. Champagne, Matt, Matt bathroom, Matt. <laughs> oh. Ooh, what a big boy. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so anybody. Lala showed me this uh, clip of South Park, right? I've never seen South Park in my life. So there's this clip what? that he showed me, right? <laughs> yeah, I've never seen South Park. Uh-huh. Michael. And he showed me this clip where, like, the, the 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 kids, I guess, they're fat. And they're, like, in front of these computers and they're playing World of Warcraft. And the yeah. one named Cartman, right? Yeah, Cartman. Cartman yep. is, like, fat, right? And he's got to, like, take a dump. And so he, like, calls his mom on the intercom. To like take a dump, and he's like, "Ma, ma, bathroom, ma, bathroom." And she's like, "What?" And he's like, "Bathroom, bathroom." 
And she comes down with this for like a pan. <laughs> he just hangs his butt off the back <laughs> of his chair. <laughs> he just like poops all over her. <laughs> it's the funniest thing I ever seen, dude. Because <laughs> it comes out like a two I, solid, two solid logs, and then it does diarrhea. I can't believe you've ever seen that show. <laughs> Uh, oh my god no i've never seen south park man i I've, I've oh, that's had, this show's genius uh mm-hmm. what's this, what station does that come on fox comedy central comedy central i've never had comedy, comedy central comedy central you know for the longest time they they used to have the uh the episodes on netflix but they moved it all over to hulu now oh really but yeah. oh my god yeah it's just that show is just <laughs> okay have y'all ever heard of a apparently it's a i don't some kind of cable news or a cable channel show, like a dog whisperer show. No, I don't watch TV. Okay. I only watch Netflix. I, well, let's see. I don't, I haven't either, but my brother showed me a, an episode of, of South Park where I guess the dog whisperer guy. Oh yeah. This comes is from a, it's just, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, he's just, he's like out of control. You know, he, he you know, bad mouth his mom all the time, just a bad kid. So his mom brings his dog whisperer person in, and he starts training Cartman like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's poking the dog. <laughs> yeah. Quit. Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious. Man. You yeah. Know yeah. I, it's good stuff. I'm going to have to like catch up on some of this Man, stuff. there's 20 seasons. Never mind. <laughs> 20 Never seasons. Mind. 30 minutes Oh, we long. can pull out a few of them. Yeah, there's, there's some really good ones. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Man. All right. Well, all right, Michael. Well, uh, let's call it there. And uh, yeah. All right. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of Geeked Up Radio with your host, Ricky, the Jolly Rancher Commander, with Lolo and Sick Michael. There you go. And uh, if you want to be part of the episode or part of the conversation, make sure you get a hold of us on social media. All the links will be in the show notes. And uh, we hope to listen, hear from you and stuff like that. And as always, we like to ask Lalo, the smartest one on this podcast, because he graduated high school. Lalo, turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lesson we should learn. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh <my laughs> Just don't be flat. <laughs> <laughs>